Hello Nerdfighters, it's Thursday, April 17th, and let's talk Bob Dylan. Ah, oh, the Nerdfighters! So my dad is like the biggest Bob Dylan fan in the world. He's got maybe 10 or 15 books on Bob Dylan. He's got all of his music. In fact, the only music that is on his iPod is Bob Dylan music. It's like six or seven hundred songs of Bob Dylan music. I love Bob Dylan too. He practically raised me on it, so how could I not like Bob Dylan? For my 13th birthday, my parents gave me a framed copy of the lyrics to Forever Young, uh, which I still have. It's in my bedroom. My sophomore year of high school, I wrote my research paper on the impact of Bob Dylan on music. It wasn't a very good paper, but I enjoyed reading about it. He had a huge influence on people like the Beatles, um, who then had a huge influence on many, many other artists um, who came after them. There, I mean, the extent of his influence and impact is just enormous. He like changed music forever. It's a fact. Not to mention his role in social change in 60s counterculture. He played for freaking Martin Luther King before the March on Washington thing where he made the I Have a Dream speech. That was, he was there. He played a song. It's mind-blowing. What I wanted to do for you today is play you a little medley that I put together of a bunch of my favorite Bob Dylan songs um, that, you know, at least the ones that I could actually play and sing. It ended up being about seven and a half minutes long, so I'm going to put that up on my channel. If you want to go see it, you can. In the meantime, I'm just going to play you one song from that selection. Um, just because I can. What are you gonna do about it? I have this book of lyrics here that my dad gave me because he's a freaking poet and I love him. Never mind the fact that he can't sing. The song's called Blowing in the Wind. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? Yes, and how many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many times must a man look up before you can see the sky? Yes, and how many ears must one man have before he can hear people cry? Yes, and how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friends, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can a mountain exist before it's washed to the sea? Yes, and how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? And how many times can a man turn his head Pretending he just doesn't see The answer, my friends, is blowing 